Hello everyone. So today we are going to learn about what is charge source capacity, how to calculate charge source capacity using EC Lab software, and why calculating the charge storage capacity is important in the context of implantable electrodes. So first of all, see the definition of charge storage capacity. The charge storage capacity of an electrode refers to the amount of electric charge the electrode can store and release during the stimulation cycle. Now next, let us see how to calculate charge storage capacity. So I have recorded my cyclic voltammetry curve. So just load, load it. So in order to load the data, click on load files then load your cyclic voltammetry data as we know in cyclic voltammetry the x axis is potential and y axis is current so this is my cyclic voltammetry curve in order to calculate the charge source capacity you have to find out integral or an area under the curve but with this typical CV curve, it is very difficult. So what we have to do, first we have to convert this cyclic voltammetry curve, like current versus potential. We have to convert it into current versus time. To convert it, just you have to click on the representation and the current versus time curve. So here is your unfolded view of cyclic voltammetry. Then, by the way, you can calculate the total charge storage capacity by integrating the anodic charge and the cathodic charge. But in the context of implantable electrodes, determining the charge storage capacity during the scanning process is particularly important because it reflects the electrode's ability to safely retrieve the charge injected during the oxidation process. This is crucial for maintaining the balance of charge over repeated stimulation cycle, which ensures electrode does not accumulate excess charge that could lead to tissue damage or electrode degradation. This recovery is very essential to maintain the electrode's biocompatibility and long-term functionality, particularly in the sensitive environment like cardiac or neural tissues. Now let us see how to calculate the integral. Sometimes it is called as area enclosed by the CV curve. So in order to calculate the integral, just click on the analysis, math, and hit the integral button. Now select the area below the baseline zero. So you have to select this area so that you will get the integral or we can say the area enclosed by the CV curve during the reduction process and hit the calculate button. You can adjust these points so that you can accurately determine the charge and here is your charge so this integral is nothing but your charge and next step you have to divide this charge by the scan rate and then you will get your charge storage capacity so in order to know more about the charge source capacity in the context of implantable electrodes i am attaching some links in the description so you can read the pu uh, published article so that you will get it know more about it if you like this video please don't forget to like and subscribe my channel until then thank you so much